The Atratru are superior in many aspects. We are bred with purpose. We are creatures made to prosper. We are the herald of creativity. We are warriors, as we are musicians. Perfection. That's what defined our existence. So we thought of ourselves as invincible. We thought of ourselves as superior. A trait that persisted when we took to the stars. We learned of other species, but none like us. We soon became the driving force of the Galactic Council. Lifting other species, making them starfaring, and seeding new worlds. Our empire became the guide of others. We thought of ourselves as gods. Maybe that was the moment when we sowed the seed of our doom. Or perhaps it was always meant to be. I still remember the day. The day, news spread across the Galactic Council like fire. Of a new species. The similarities were there. Just like us, they too took to the stars on their own merits. Like us, they too were creative. Like us, they too were warriors. But we couldn't see. Because unlike us, they were free. A warrior can't choose to become a farmer. A farmer can become a ruler. Impure ones. That was the name we gave them. That was the moniker we chose for them. But they didn't mind, with smiles and kindness, they became a part of the council. The event that sparked the war is still burned brightly in my mind. Torkians were a species of low intelligence. One of our seedings went wrong. They were not suitable to survive in the universe, nor did they have any value. So we decided to eradicate them. We called it kindness. To spare a species eons of suffering before they go extinct. But they thought otherwise. The impure one shouted with a single sentence. We disagree. We were gods. No one ever defied us. No one ever spoke against us. Except them. All sentient beings have the right to choose their own fate. They said. That was their reason. We never considered their words. Nor have we ever thought deeply of them. We were victims of our own arrogance. The war we waged on them. We burned their outposts. We glassed their worlds. We slaughtered billions. They begged us to stop. Back then, we didn't know. We are a race of warriors. We fought in wars they couldn't imagine. We did things they couldn't comprehend. We were the destroyers of the worlds before we became the benevolent gods. Yet, we could have never imagined that the cruelty we bring on to others pales in comparison they once did to themselves. They begged us to stop. We didn't know. Our cruelty was nothing before them. They slaughtered our species in ways we couldn't imagine. They fought against us in manners we couldn't comprehend. It was then we realized we were superior in many things. But we can never match them in one. Violence. When their fleet finally appeared in our homeworld, we dreaded annihilation. We were gods. We were invincible. Yet, we were looking at them with fear. They came down in swarms. They came with weapons drawn. We could feel the end. Yet, it never came. They removed the High Council. They demolished the breeding centers. They stopped all segregation and let everyone learn. The warriors went to learn about music. The musicians went to learn about farming. Even I, a warrior, went there to learn about the stars and how they work. Impure One is what we call them. Yet their teachings were pure. They taught us many things. Things we never thought about, things we never imagined, was that the feeling of being free. I didn't know back then, but I know now. By chance, I managed to personally talk with one of them. I ask, why do you show us kindness? Because, all sentient beings have the right to choose their own fate, they said. Now, I watch, as the last of their ships leave the planet. Perhaps, my species will forget this war in the upcoming centuries. Maybe, after a millennia, we will return to our old habits. Perhaps we will make the same mistakes. But for now, we are free to choose our own purpose. We are free to choose our own fate. The author's name and the link to original text is in the description. Consider tapping the thumbs up and pressing the subscribe button if you enjoyed this video.